So the next tool I have to look at is the EN4950H Makita Petrol Pole Hedge Trimmer. Um, I've just done a review of the pole pruner, which is essentially a pole chainsaw. So have a look at my other listings, I'll put a link below um, and at the end of this video if you want to watch that one. Um, it's a nice, nice tool. Anyway, back to this review. Um, this is, as I said, a pole petrol trimmer. It's four stroke. Let's have a look what's in the box. Okay, so it has the same motor hidden away in there as the chainsaw it's the business end it's a 490mm blade Slide it off. and there she is nice you may notice the gaps are very big it cuts 22mm which is sort of double what you your small battery handheld um, cordless, even corded um, hedge trimmers do. So 22mm, I'll be happy with that. Almost an inch worth of cutting. And unlike some hedge trimmers which have sharpened blades on the top, but not the bottom, just open that up. This has sharp, this is sharpened on all edges. Nasty. You wouldn't mind your finger in there. Now it has a adjustable head which goes through 180 degrees. You pull this down and turn the handle. I can't really do it one handed with the camera. Um, you can turn it to set it into about a dozen or so preset positions and then you can trim the top of your hedge or cut an angle or whatever you want. The overall length of the beast is just over two and a half meters. Have a look what else is in here. The tool bag which will have our instructions, the tool kit, So, instruction manual, Allen key and socket wrench, some oil for the motor, and that's all pretty much the same as that beast there, and a handle. Alright, let's get the rest of it out, I'm going to have to put the camera down for a second. So there's less putting together than the pole saw. All I have to do here, take this little condom off, slide this on. That screw there goes through a hole in the shaft. And the handle goes on the shaft there, anywhere in front of the arrows. Now this part from there up is identical to the pole pruner. So you've got a hook there for a harness, which this one doesn't come with, it's an optional accessory, a shoulder harness, but I have exactly the same one from the pole pruner, so it's no big deal. Um, this handle and everything which I haven't had to put on on this one is all the same, so that's good, nice and easy to chain, learn two different things. The motor is identical as well, it's a Makita MM4 four-stroke petrol engine. So four-stroke meaning oil, goes in the oil reservoir around the side there and this is just for petrol don't cock it up so no other lubrication points in regards to having an oil reservoir or anything like that so these are nice easy motors to start it's um, a 25.4 cc motor 
Right, so now I will attach the end and the handle, put the oil on it, and then give it a whirl. So with the head attached, I'll now put on the handle. Now, plenty of warnings on here. I only put unleaded petrol in there, no oil. When you pull, start it. Just pull it gently, gently. First time. Oil, 80 mil, goes in there. Petrol tank is 600 mil. So they give you the 80 mil of oil. Which, as you can see, this has already had oil in it before. And we'll have started it at the at the plant to check it. So with the oil in and the petrol in, she's ready to go. And hopefully it starts as easy as the pole pruner did. That one I think I started on the first full pull. Always remember to take the cover off before you start. Click the switch on. Don't worry about the choke, unless it's particularly gold, which it isn't here. So give it a gentle pull. Oh, give it a pump first until the petrol flows through. About 7 to 10. Is the petrol starting to come through now? Alright. Full. Gentle. And one. Two. Two poles, I'm happy with that. So she cut through some fairly 
fairly substantial sized timber there. It's pretty good. Now one thing to remember with this unit is you do need to periodically grease or lubricate the blades. Now there's two points here. You can see the, the symbol there. Undo this nut and this one on the front here. So you get two points there to lubricate with around five cc's of lubricant every 25 hours of run time. So if you're using this every day you're going to have to do that quite regularly. Um, if you only use it around the home then you shouldn't have to do it too often. All the instructions of course are in the manual for doing that. Apart from that she's pretty easy. Hopefully it gives me many years of happy use. So that is the Makita EN4950H pole hedge trimmer. Thanks for watching. Have a look at my um, pole pruner if you're interested. It will be popping up on screen about now. Otherwise, subscribe, like, etc. And I will see you next time.